I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Strange Climber. I regret to inform you, this is probably the last Strange Think game that I'm going to play. You might notice it from procedural generatiness, plus green and pink. I've played lots of Strange Think games before, and Strange Think has a very unfortunate quirk as a developer. They tend to delete all of their games, and, um. That's right, Parker. Um, they have deleted all of their stuff on Itch.io completely now, and they made a little statement and then deleted the statement, and I don't really believe their statement, honestly, because um, they've just always kind of done this, unfortunately. They've always just kind of deleted their games after a while. Um, the, the, the reasons I don't entirely buy. I'm not really sure what the deal is, but it's unfortunate, to be sure. But um, for now... We're just going to play Strange Climber? Ah, that's right, Parker. And, um, something is going on really weird with these jump physics. Alright, I don't think I can make that. Hi, Parker. I'm trying to do intricate things, honey. Um, so yeah, a, a few people have approached me asking for, like, copies of the games. I, I super support... Oh, it's a circuit board. Neat. Um, I'm definitely a preservationist and all of that stuff. But unfortunately, due to the whole YouTube thing, I kind of got to be pretty picky on, you know, copyright and all that stuff. So, um, I can't be the one to, like, host a big collection of Strange Things games unless they gave me the go-ahead. Which, considering they keep deleting their stuff, <laughs> probably not going to happen. But, um, this game, I think, is just, you just climb. It's a strange climber. Um... Their other games are a lot more procedurally generated. I, I assume this tower was procedurally generated. I think it's the same every time you load it up, though. Like, I think it was originally generated, like, that's um, just always the same thing, so it's always possible. I could be wrong, though. Ha Parker, please. Ah. Look what you just did. Oh. So, thank you, someone, for purchasing the indie bundle using my, my link. I didn't realize that was... That, that's supposed to be for the live stream, but thanks. You're, you're forever burned in into my video now, so thanks for that. Um, but yeah, I have... In my Discord, you can get my affiliate links if you uh, wish to use them. Um, yeah, Strange Things games, love them to bits. Uh, I just... Wish they stayed. I don't know what the deal is with that. Um, a lot of really great procedural art stuff, and um, there's a little, there's a few places you can look online. Um, Oboa Chan seemed to have a thread with some aspects of, um, with some aspects. What am I saying? Some, some of their games preserved. There's a rock paper shotgun thing that is now completely out of date, but it has some links to the older ones that got taken down. Uh, I do have a playlist with all of the Strange Sync games, so you can at least watch me play Strange Think stuff and uh, see what the game was all about. Um, again, not really comfortable providing the actual games themselves, but hopefully somebody does something like that. Strange Think's Twitter is even deleted at this point now, so I don't know what the deal is, but it sucks. And it sucks that we're talking about that in instead of the game. I mean, come on. The, there's not a lot, I was told this one was kind of the least interesting. Um, I can kind of see that, honestly. You're just trying to climb this big mess of a thing. And I don't know what is at the end, but I want to find out. So, that's what we're doing here. Um, interesting. Very interesting, okay. I swear I pressed the jump button. This is why you need coyote time. There we go. Coyote time is this thing, I think it was coined in like a Twitter thread randomly, but um, there's a few moments after you go off a ledge that you can jump in some games. Celeste is a great example. Uh, it's named after Wile E. Coyote, because you know, he would go off a cliff and he would just be there for a, for a few seconds before he falls. Um, Bunny Must Die, I believe, does that. Um, it's a really good feeling. It's a good mechanic to put in games where precision is required. Ah. Uh, that feels bad. <laughs> that feels real bad. I... Goodness. I don't even know. Sad thing is, I don't even know if there's anything genuinely up there. I don't... I don't know. In fact, you know what? 
wonder if this is really procedurally generated on the fly or not. Um, Strange Thing stuff usually is. Um, really cool procedural gen stuff. I I really want them to come back. I uh, Obviously, you can probably tell in my voice I'm a little bit frustrated with them as a developer that keeps deleting their stuff. But, um... Hey, Sonico. Um, but I... <laughs> They're still great games. Okay, I was just inside the wall. Okay, yeah, so it is it is randomly generated every time. Procedurally generated. Um, hmm. Which makes me wonder if it's genuinely possible to get all the way up. But of course, depending on the, the, the logic of the procedural generation, it could be, you know, oh fuck. It could be always possible that you can finish it. I'm just, I'm just glad to be back in a Strange Thing game, honestly. The game, I can definitely see why this was one of the weaker ones. You're just kind of trying to get up. And it seems there's not always necessarily a way up. You just gotta hope and pray. You gotta send your hopes and prayers. I know, what, what is that? Um, thoughts and prayers. You gotta send your thoughts and prayers. I don't know if there's anything up there gonna bug me. Maybe there's other videos. I'll, I'll see if there's other videos that show if there's like a real ending. And I'll, I'll try to get the real ending if I can't get it. But I've... The more I, 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 I flounce about, I kind of wonder if this is just all there is. And there's just... If you get all the way up to the top, you're just like, oh, I, I got to the top, kind of. Crap. For example, I don't think I can get up. Well, let's try. Y'all got any of them cheat codes? Oop, clicked outside the window. You gotta love Unity. This is from those good 2005 Unity days where things just <laughs> didn't work. See, oh, that's so far. You get like a moon jump if you're jumping from the ground, but uh, once you're up higher, the, the stakes are higher and you can't go up as much. Make, makes things feel a lot less possible than they should be. Or it feels like they should be. Give me this, but with like, um, Mirror's Edge physics, where I can like run around, run along walls and stuff. That would feel better. I never finished Mirror's Edge. I need to go do that. I need to finish, I need to play Mirror's Edge 2, like, at all. I have not done that. Um, No way to do anything down here. Hmm. So I kind of figured there might be no point to the game. That's kind of a common thing in Strange Things games. You just kind of look around. I guess the feeling here is try kind of just that adversity of trying to climb a thing and you don't know if it's possible to climb it. Or maybe it just is impossible on purpose. But you just kind of keep at it. You don't know. You just genuinely don't know if there will be a way to do it. Oh, here we go. See, so you make some progress, and then you get to this point where it's like, oh wait, <laughs> I can't go anywhere. Here we go. Oh gosh. I hate first-person platforming, though. Um, hey, I'm on the top of this thing. And I don't see anything at the tops. So like, I don't see like a magical portal or anything. I think it really is just a thing where you just climb around and that's all there is to it. But it's neat. But yeah, I can see why this was one of the weaker ones. It was considered one. Um, dang, yeah, unfortunately I do have to be the bearer of bad news that as far as we can tell, there may not be any more Strange Thing games. I don't know if they just decided to not do games anymore. Let's generate one more. Uh, I don't know if they just... I don't know. But Strange Thing stuff was always really cool, and I enjoyed playing it. And, heck, maybe we'll have a stream... Oh, come on, Unity. Uh, maybe we'll have a stream someday. 
where we'll just play a whole bunch of these for nostalgia reasons or just because they're cool. I don't know. Um, does it have to be nostalgia? I, I, I never liked like, oh, it's nostalgic, but it's like, but it's, it's good. Like, why not just play Yoshi's Island or whatever? Because it's good. That's, that's what I do. I'm just playing, um, Kirby Superstar on my Switch because, hey, I have access to it on Switch. It's like the fifth copy of that game I own. And it's just good. I wasn't really doing it for nostalgia. I was just doing it because it's a good game now. I always enjoy myself going back to it. It's a really easy game to get into because I've played it before. But, uh, I don't think it has to be a nostalgia thing. But, uh, yeah, maybe sometime we'll stream some Strange Think games. Um... We still have the games. Well, I still have the games. Um, unfortunately, I really wish... I wish somebody would do a better job of getting... I did send. There, there was somebody. Uh, now, don't go emailing me expecting me to email you everything. But there was somebody making, like, an archive. And as far as I know, that archive didn't happen. Like, I, they, I, they never emailed me back and said, Hey, here's our website where you can, like, send people to get Strange Thing games. But somebody said, Hey, we have every Strange Thing game except... Uh, I forget what it was, but it was all of them but one, and I was like, all right, I'll, I'll do the dirty just this one time, and I sent them. I forget which game it was, uh, Endless Crimes of the Future, maybe, but uh, I just happened to have the one they missed. Um, so hopefully they're publishing that somewhere, because like I said, preservation to me. Oh, God. We in there, folks? Okay, finally. I, th I'm sure this will eventually turn to tears somewhere, um, but we're making a kind of maybe progress, sort of ish, hopefully. Um, shit, no, maybe, <laughs> maybe we're not. Maybe we aren't at all making progress. Um, but yeah, I, in terms of preservation versus will of the artist, I, I, I kind of, <laughs> I have artist friends, and I, I, I hate to make this sound too critical or anything, but um, to me. Once you have put out a work into the world, I think that work is more owned by the world than by you to some extent. I think you still have the right to get, you know, exclusive profit and stuff off it, but I don't think once you put out a work into the public sphere, I don't think you as an artist really get to say, no, you can't see this anymore. Um, that's why I think games like this should be preserved. That's why I think, um... Uh, that's why I think stuff like archive.org is important, even if the original website goes down. I think people should have access to that, because at some point it was for everybody to see. And I, I don't think anybody should have, any one person should be able to say, hey, no, you don't get this anymore. Um, I do think as an artist you can like just not publish stuff, that's fine. Um, you can just be like, okay, this, is, this work is poop and I don't want to put it out there. I don't want anyone to see it, and that's fine. Though, I mean, to some extent. I'm, I'm totally fine with, you know, archaeologists or, I guess it's more anthropology, but, you know, discovering, you know. I imagine there's, like, a lost work of, like, Einstein or something. They'd, they'd publish that shit, and they'd be right to do so. Um, it sounds like I'm not taking the artist into the equation at all here, and that's not, that's not quite the case. Um, but like I said, once it's been public... I don't think you, you get to put the genie back in the bottle. I'm okay with you getting all of the money for your work. It is your work and all of that, obviously. Um, but when it comes to artist versus preservation, I gotta go with preservation. I don't... I don't think we can go much higher. Ah, oh, shoot. Now I'm intrigued. I feel like it may be sort of kind of possible. pretty high up, but I, I'm not seeing a valid route up. This, this feels like it should go up. If we had the moon gravity from before, if we had the moon gravity, we could go, we could go up further, but yeah, I think the, this is the game telling us that no, some obstacles are too far to reach. Nah. But yeah, sucks to say, but this will probably be my last Strange Think video. 
Um, quite a while since the last one. I'll try to make, I'll put a link to the other Strange Saint games in the description. Um, I've covered all of them. This is the last one. But I miss that kind of cool procedurally generated neatness. Um, and if you have games like this to recommend, um, let me know. And this is one of the things I always, um, the one thing I don't like about experimental stuff like this is I want to know if it has a point. Is there an ending? It's okay if there isn't an ending, but I don't want to be, you know, flapping around here like Flappy Bird and find out there isn't an ending after like an hour of like messing around in a game that's supposed to be like a five minute thing where you give up and you can't go to the top. But that's all I want. That's why I have um, on Ichio, I have a thing called Avant Garden. Um, to be a little pretentious prick, I called it that because I thought it was neat. And it has lots of alt games and stuff like this. And um, I always try to mention if the game has an ending or a purpose, if there's a, a specific goal in mind, or if it's just dick around until you're bored. Because dick around until you're bored is perfectly fine. Love games like that. Um, I, I just wish it was more clear, and I wish more developers were upfront about that. Um, but yeah, if you have games to recommend like this, let me know. And if you can, let me know if there is an ending, if there's something specific I should do, or if it's just like, hey, wander around until you're bored. Um, and yeah, I think we're gotten, we've gotten to the point where we're just bored. Um, this is procedurally generated like a... I wasn't sure. I, it was... I think it's one of the earliest ones. But they freaking love procedural generation. So I had, a, I had an inkling. It is a neat little thing, though. I just... I don't know. Love the background, though. Give me give me a Windows screensaver with that. I, I feel like... I feel like kids these days... I feel like kids these days miss something. Not having, like, a background wallpaper. Not wallpaper. Um, screensaver. It was definitely an experience you had with CRTs, and it's totally pointless and stupid now. But, uh, every once in a while, I kind of miss that. I miss the stupid pipes, or the little maze, with the ceiling rats and stuff. It was definitely an experience. Kids these days, they don't know. They missed out. They don't know. Anyway, this is Strange Climber. Um, send me them recommends if you got anything strange for me to check out. If you got anything think for me to check out, or ideally anything strange think. Yeah, if anybody if anybody does find strange think is back or anything, please do send me a message or something. And by the way, I read all my comments, so just n know that your comment will be you will be heard, my son or daughter or whatever. You will be heard. So can I just can I just into the void? I think this is fitting. I think this is a fitting end. A fitting end for Strange Things last game. Or first game, I don't even know chronologically when this was made, but last one I'm playing. Oh yeah, and this was sent to me by the, the, the people that, that said, oh, you have this game? Um, send us this, and I actually got it from them. I forget who they were exactly, but uh, big shout outs to the, for that. Wondering if I would just eventually fall off the world there. There it goes. It's kind of poetic, isn't it? Cold into the distance. Well, sorry, Strange Think, but your games aren't quite as cold as thoroughly as those graphics were, because I made videos of them. <laughs> Hope you're not too upset, but I have to say, preservation does trump that for me. Because at the end of the day, art is art, and people should be able to appreciate that. So, good night. Um, <laughs> sorry to leave you on a melancholy tone here, but uh, that's how life is. Alright gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell, frog. What are you doing in my house? I I I would just get out. Ah!